Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation, and in today's video we're going to be going over the newest metal in the game, Supernova Plus Plus Key Art number 22. It is a 5 Mercy Pull metal. Now before I start the video, I do want to remind you guys that I do have the join feature available on my channel now. So if you appreciate and enjoy the content I make here on the channel, or if you like watching my live streams, or both, I would truly appreciate it if you become a member. Aside from that though, going into the actual metal itself, we have what it does, which is it has a maximum strength of about 40,000, pretty good. It's an AOE metal, deals five hits that ignore target's attributes. For one turn, raises metal strength, general metal strength by 2,500. Uh, increases your general strength, upright, and PSM strength by 15 tiers. Increases your guilt buff by 200%. Does more damage the higher your HP. Costs one gauge, is a tier 10 metal. Uh, its damage multiplier is a 68.71 to 78.12. Supernova, AoE Supernova, has the mastery mechanic, so essentially does more damage against super effective uh, enemies. For three attacks, increases general metal strength by 9,999. For one turn, lowers the target's general defense, upright, and PSM defense by 15 tiers. Increases your guilt buff by 300%, triggers before slot 4 in PvP, has a damage multiplier of 220. Now, in terms of how good this metal actually is, um, realistically, I don't... There's a couple things I need to say about this metal. Which is that, it is absolutely fantastic for raiding any type of metal... Oh, excuse me. Any type of metal that ignores target's attributes are always fantastic, especially AoE metals uh, like this one, are absolutely fantastic for raiding just because of the fact that you can hit all of the pressure points uh, and it's always guaranteed to be super effective, in which case you don't need to have exclusively built attribute setups of each different attribute uh, in order to get the most damage in uh, on raid bosses so that way you can get more locks essentially faster. Um, so these type of metals are absolutely fantastic because essentially if you can get enough of these ignore targets attribute type metals in a single setup, in a single raid boss setup, uh, it is the most effective way to just lessen your costs in terms of trying to set up different raid boss setups essentially across your keyblades. So you can, you would only ever need to use one keyblade setup at all times against all raid bosses uh, compared to needing like maybe like three different keyblade setups for for raiding if that makes sense so definitely fantastic raid metal in terms of everything else though what i will say is that uh the general metal strength is pretty nice okay there are not too many metal metals at the moment that will just affect all metals in the entire game uh most metal strengthening metals usually increase some sort of attribute, whether it be a PSM attribute or upright reverse. Uh, so general metal strength is pretty good. All right, everything else though, or the main the main drawback about this metal that I don't like is the three tax portion of its supernova. Uh, for any of you not aware, because of the fact it says three attacks, the three attacks applies to its own supernova as well. So if you're not aware, the way that buffs and debuffs work in this game is that whenever you use an ability okay so when you like you use a supernova or you cast a metal uh to use it you know uses attack slash ability the abilities of the metal always get applied first before the metal actually does damage okay or before the ability actually does its damage so in this case when you use the supernova, it will actually apply the metal strength 9999 buff before you do damage, okay? And because of the fact that it does it before you do damage, when you actually do the damage, according to the game, it considers that as one of its attacks. So realistically, after you use the supernova, you only get the 999 metal strength buff for two more attacks and that's it. Um, which is going to be incredibly worse if you have a setup that has a lot of extra attack metals, for example. Um, so, I, I forgot to mention that its multiplier is it's pretty good. It's a pretty decent multiplier. Um, not the highest in the game, but it's definitely up there. It's one, one of the very uh, better ones. 
So overall though, I would say because of the fact of how lackluster the supernova is and that it's very limited in its actual usage, uh, especially with how easy it is to start actually obtaining traits these days, partially because of the Moogle shop. Um, if you happen to get VIP, you, these days you really only need to spend a thousand jewels to guarantee you get like extra attack, for example. So it's it's a decent metal, but because of the th so solely because of the three attacks portion, it it it's not nearly as good as you would want it to be in other words. So in terms of whether or not I think you should actually pull for key art number 22, even though it is a five pole, five pole mercy uh, banner, I don't think you need to go crazy about it. Uh, personally for me, I'm just skipping it. Realistically, you could probably end up skipping it too, just because of the fact that it's not, you want a like universally whole metal where it could affect your uh setup as a whole like you don't have to use it in very niche situations which is kind of what what key art number 22 is essentially doing um you kind of have to use it as like the uh last or second to last metal in your entire setup in order to get any sort of value from it which doesn't really feel good to me um but yeah that's besides the point anyways that's it for today, guys. Go ahead, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. Check out the join button if you enjoyed my content. If you liked the video, though, if you liked the video, though, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Especially when I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.